Hi, this is Asin. Today, I would like to share the method of finding angles between a diagonal of a cube and its base and edge. We will apply the idea of vector by finding the angle using two lines. To get this done, we have to move this cube to a three-dimensional plane by putting one of the edges to the origin. So first, we make three lines so that we have the x, y, and z axis. If we link the vertex of this to the vertex of this using the edge and the line here, eventually we will form a 90 degree. We can assume that this is the wall because this is the z acid and the floor the combination of x y axis then we will obtain a 90 degree now we make a diagonal so as we can see the diagonal cut the angle into two parts in other words the angle between the diagonal and the edge plus the angle between the diagonal and the face is always 90 degree. Before we proceed to the calculation part, let's insert some points here. So we know that the line, the width and the height will have the same magnitude because this is the cube. So let's labor. We have the x acid, the y, and the z. Let's say the length of this line is k unit. So meaning to say we will have the point k, 0, 0. And for this point, because of the same unit, but with y coordinate, so we will have 0, k, 0. And same go to the z coordinate for this point. So we will have 0, 0, k. In other words, for this diagonal, the point here is actually with k unit height, k unit length and k unit width so let's say this is the point for the diagonal so we will have k k and k then for this point the floor so let's say is the point f so we will have the x unit the y unit but without any unit of z. So meaning to say this point will be k, k, 0. Let the angle between the diagonal and the h be alpha and the angle between the diagonal and the face be Data. So we can proceed to the calculation by using the idea of vector. So we need two lines here. So if let's say we want to find the angle between the edge and the diagonal, so we will have this vector and this vector. So W. So we will have W dot with d is equal to 0, 0, k dot with k, k, k. Meaning to say we will have 0 times k plus 0 times k plus k times k. So we obtain k squared. Then we obtain the modulus 
for both the lines. So we will have square root of 0 square plus 0 square plus k square, which is equal to 0 plus 0 plus k square. So k square, we take the square root and now we have k. Then we find the modulus of the vector d. So we obtain k square plus k square plus k square. In other words, it's 3 times of k square. So 3 times of k square, then we will have square root of 3k square, which is equivalent to square root of 3 times k. Now we apply the formula to find the angle alpha. So we have cos alpha is equal to the dot product over the multiplication of the many chips. So we have k square over k times square root 3k. So meaning to say we will have square root 3k square. Then we simplify, we obtain 1 over square root of 3. So meaning to say alpha is equal to the inverse cos of 1 over square root 3. We just have to press this to the calculator. Then we obtain the answer. So square root, so the inverse of cos 1 over square root 3. So we obtain 54.74 degree. 54 0.74 degree. So this is the angle between the diagonal and the edge. Now we press it to the diagonal and the face. So we will have the vector D and the vector F. D dot F we have k k k dot k k zero so we will have k time k k square k times k another k square so k square plus k square we obtain 2 k square then the magnitude so since we already found the magnitude of vector d which is square root 3 k now we proceed to find the magnitude or the modulus of the vector f so we will have square root of k square plus k square plus 0 square meaning to say we will have 2 k square with the square root so we simplify we obtain square root 2 k now we substitute to the formula that we have so there dot product 2 k square over square root times square root 3 times square root 2 we have square root 6 then k times times k we have k squared so we simplify we obtain 2 over square root 6 from here we just have to reverse the function cos inverse the function so we have inverse cos of 2 over square root 6 then we obtain 35.26 degree 35.26 degree so this is the angle between the diagonal and the face so if we plus the two angles 54.74 plus 35.26 as we can see we will obtain the 90 degree so meaning to say the angle between the diagonal the diagonal and the edge 
plus the angle between the diagonal and the face is always 90 degree. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. See you.